Today, guys, we got a couple of really interesting charts to show you. Of course, we're also following up on the short term, the immediate short term for Bitcoin and the long term charts for Bitcoin. And these are charts you will need to pay attention to right now because we are right at support, guys, and we are so close to this right now. In fact, let me go to the daily time frame and just show you exactly how close we are to actually breaking this level. And if we break this level, well, then something is going to go down for Bitcoin. So yeah, make sure to watch this video from the beginning to the end, guys, because this is extremely important if you're holding any crypto at all. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Let's jump straight into Bitcoin, guys. And what you can see here on Bitcoin for the Bitcoin price on the shorter time frames is that we are continuing just like yesterday. We're continuing this downtrend. We're making lower highs, lower lows in general, although this might potentially be a yeah, this is probably a lower lower low as well here, but uh, not on the close of the candles. But nonetheless, the general trajectory is down and the $45,000 level is, as we know, big support for Bitcoin. But here is the thing. We are very close to breaking this or we are right at the support right now. So let me go to this massive wedge here, this weekly massive wedge. So as you know, this is one of the last, you know, support levels for Bitcoin on the longer time frames. And we are so we are we have been hitting it multiple times here actually. If I go to the daily time frame, you can see that we are right on it right now. So you can see that we are getting that support now off of the uh, uh, big support level here, but we're not seeing a violent move to the upside. We're just you know continuing to chug along here. We're hitting this level, and this is not bringing a lot of confidence to Bitcoin, guys. I have to tell you that. But for as long as we are above this line, I am going to remain uh, bullish on the longer time frames, and I am going to to remain as so until we break down from this level. If we break down from this level, well, then from a technical standpoint, we have lost the support. And that is when I will start to, uh, you know, reevaluate because at that point, it's looking likely that we are going to find lower prices here come down to well, first stop would be $42,000, uh, which I do believe is going to be big support for Bitcoin. So let's continue. Let's jump over to this is actually the daily time frame. So nothing has changed compared to yesterday here. We have been hitting this uh, resistance level and we are sloping down here. But I want to show you this. So this is also on the weekly time frame. As you know, this level is also extremely important. If we zoom in here, uh, you can see that we are right on it as well here. So again, massive support level right at 45 $5,000 approximately. So this is supporting us right now. And for as long as we're getting that support, I am going to remain bullish and hope that we can get a bounce off of this level. If we break down from this level, that is when I will start to get a bit more worried. And that is when you are going to most likely have a bigger move to the downside for Bitcoin. But let's go back to the weekly time frame. And how come I can remain bullish, although we have been hitting these support levels a couple of times already? Well, as you know, I've been showing you this previously, although we are very close to breaking down here, it seems, you know, until we are broken down, we haven't broken down. And this is exactly what you saw here in 2020 as well. You saw this kind of arch, you saw us, uh, you know, hit the support level a couple of times, and then we took off. And so here you have the same kind of thing. You have this arch, hit the support level, and we can still, you know, take off from this level. So unless we break down from this level, I am going to remain as such. I am going to remain bullish on the longer time frames. And actually, one uh, kind of fun thing I want to show you is that uh, if you uh, measure the uh, Bitcoin price compared to the traditional markets, this is, of course, the traditional markets compared to uh, the dollar. And we've been seeing this go up here. And uh, yeah, you can see that we have been going up here as Bitcoin has been going down. But as you know, I usually say that the traditional markets, if they go up and Bitcoin goes down or sideways, it's just a matter of time until Bitcoin catches up with it and Bitcoin actually starts to go up as well. And uh, if you compare the Bitcoin price to the S&P 500, which is the traditional markets, this is really interesting because you can see that we're forming a triangle. Again, this is not compared to the US dollar. This is the Bitcoin price compared to the traditional markets. And so what you can see here is that, that we have been forming this triangle. We're right now also on the support level of this triangle here on the Bitcoin price compared to the traditional markets. And if I zoom out here, let me make this point clear. 
Bitcoin has always throughout history outperformed the traditional markets. Sure, it can go up and down. For instance, when you see the chart go down here, it means that the traditional markets are outperforming Bitcoin. When Bitcoin or when the chart is going up here, it means that Bitcoin is outperforming the traditional markets. So if I zoom out here, let us take it from the beginning. And you can see that uh, if I uh, you know, show you this, this means that Bitcoin has outperformed the traditional markets by 1 million percent. So obviously completely insane. So in general, Bitcoin outperforms the traditional markets over time. That has been the case. And so looking at this triangle, just like with the triangles on the Bitcoin to uh, the US dollar price here on these different charts I've been showing you, on the Bitcoin to the S&P 500 chart, we're at the support right here. So, so obviously if we break down here, it obviously means that it's more likely that the traditional markets are going to outperform Bitcoin. Because remember, when we go down in this chart, it means that the traditional markets are outperforming Bitcoin. But we could also just find that support here, this being the support, continue to chug along here and then break this to the upside according to the same kind of stuff we've been seeing previously. So uh, what do you think, guys? Let me know down in the comment section. Do you think that we are going to break this to the upside? Let me know. Another chart I want to show you is this chart actually posted on Twitter by uh, Blake. And... Uh, I'm not going to get into the details of what he is showing us here, but just from an overview here, what you can actually see is a very apparent pattern. And that pattern is that with every cycle here, we tend to have, you know, longer, longer cycles and we tend to have um, not as violent price action to the upside, okay? So what you can see here is that it's obviously sloping up here and then it's sloping up, but it's sloping like it's, it's not as, you know, hockey stick as the previous cycle. So this one is not as parabolic as the previous cycle. This one is not as parabolic as this one. And this one seems like he has been making a trajectory here. Like this is what he has been anticipating. And if this were the case, we're still going to reach you know, $100,000 and above. It's just going to be, you know, in the line of us continuing to have longer cycles and not being as parabolic as the previous ones. So, of course, if you want to dive into the details of this chart, you can just follow Blake on Twitter here. Guys, before we wrap this video up, I want to talk about the sponsor for today's video, which is Zotherium, which is a project center around NFTs and a game that will be released later this year. So, the release of the first series of NFTs is live right now for minting, and they are a bit unique in that you end up getting two NFTs for the price of one if you hold until March the 25th. So this is because the NFTs are eggs that will end up hatching into a variety of different mythical and extinct creatures. There are actually only uh, 900 eggs as you can see down here, 900 eggs in total and they are going to hatch into uh, any of these, uh, you know, extinct creatures or mythical creatures, so to speak. So you can get Arctic egg, robotic, cemetery, oriental, island egg, and Mayan egg. Also galactic egg, ocean egg, Egyptian egg. So you got all of these. You also got listed how many of these are going to be uh, available for sale here. So you can pick the one that is attractive to you. Another way Zotero stands out is in the quality of the art itself. As you can see, it looks really good. The team consists of four crypto investors who have also worked in CG for more than 15 years giving them all the skills necessary to create this type of project and make it very visually appealing. Along with the 900 eggs available for minting in the first series of NFTs, there are also 3,900 keys, which will be used later on for things such as unlocking games and other surprises. If we take a look at the roadmap, we can see that on March 25th will be the launch of the Series 2 collection, as well as the hatching of eggs from the series. April 28th will be a big event related to the game itself with more details coming as to what exactly will be happening than coming in the future. If you want to mint some eggs or learn more about the project, you can do so through the links in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.